Hello everyone. I am Amar Shahid from Course of MCC. Today we are going to solve a question from Court Forces Round 640 Division 4. Name of the question is Kth not divisible by n. The question is you are giving two positive integers n and k. Print the kth positive integer that is not divisible by n. For example, if n equal to 3 and k equal to 7, then all numbers that are not divisible by 3 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11 and so on. And seventh number in this sequence will be 10. So, so your answer will be 10. Okay, let's analyze this question. We will take the example given in the question. I have written all possible numbers sequentially for n equal to 3 and n equal to, n equal to 4. For n equal to 3, you will get 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8 and so on. And for n equal to 4, it will be 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7 and 9, 10, 11. If you observe it, if you take all the number from 1 to n minus 1 and keep adding multiple of n, then you will get a sequence which, which doesn't have any number divisible by n. Now you can see that this sequence made up made up of uh, numbers from 1 to n minus 1 and and the addition of multi, multiple of n. Like here, this is uh, number is a uh, number is from 1 to n minus 1, n minus 1 is 3 from 1 to 3, and these number are also one uh, from 1 to 3, but it's uh, one additional uh, one addition is there that's it, that is 4 and here is 8 and so on so to find which set contains the kth number then you have to divide k by n minus 1 we call this this uh, this this uh, small small sequence as a set so for finding uh, which set contains your required answer you have to first uh, divide n uh, uh, divide k by n minus 1 let's uh, let's call that number is t t is equal to k by k by n minus 1 n minus 1 and also take the remainder remainder is r r is equal to r is equal to k modulo n minus 1 k modulo n minus 1 okay and if, if you multiply t into n if you multiply t t with n t with n and add the r add the r that will be your answer that will be your answer see for uh, uh, for this case what will be your t t will be k by n minus 1 what is k k is 7 and n minus 1 is 2 so k 7 by 2 7 by 2 will be you will uh, uh, take only the floor value 7 by 2 will be 3 and uh, remainder will be 1 and if you calculate uh, uh, like uh, n equal to is 3 also then uh, 3 into 3 plus remainder what is remainder here remainder is 1 so your answer will be 10 in the same way if you in the same way if you do if you do it for n equal uh, n equal to 4 and k equal to 7 you will get the same answer but there is a h cases h case there is one h case the one h case is if if r equal to 0 r equal to 0 then you will get uh, t into n t into n means uh, for uh, for any value of t t is always greater than uh, it will be always greater than 1 
uh, for any value of t you will get a number which which will al always divisible by n like uh, for uh, in in this case n equal to 3 and k equal to k equal to 8 k equal to 8 you will get uh, for a n equal to 3 and k equal to 8 you will get uh, you, uh, what will be your uh, n minus 1 n minus 1 will be 2 and k is 8 then uh, so your t will be your t will be here your, your t will be like 4 right 4 and your r will be 0 then uh, your answer what what should be your answer according to the algorithm answer will be uh, 4 and uh, 4 and 3 answer will it uh, according to algorithm answer will be 12 but if you count it here uh, 1 2 and 2 4 8 10 sorry 2 4 6 8 8th number will be is 11 that is if if you find if your r is equal to 0 in that case you have to do you just need to select a number which is just left to to the this this number uh, like uh, in that case your your formula will be a is equal to n into t minus 1 n into t minus 1 in that case if if r equal to 0 otherwise uh, you you will apply this t into uh, n plus r let's see for this if k equal to 9 and, and n equal to 4 that is if uh, what what will be your n minus 1 n minus 1 will be 3 and k is 9 that is uh, k is always divisible, divisible by 3 because 9 is uh, 9 uh, 3 can divide the 9 so 9 by 3 9 by 3 will be 3 and uh, and the ni ninth number ninth number in that in the, in the sequence will be 11 but according to this algorithm you will get uh, 4 into 4 into 3 because 9 by 3 is 3 and and 3 into 4 is 12 you will you you will be getting 12 but your answer should be 11 so in that case you have to apply this formula okay okay we got the algorithm so let's uh, get into the code. We already taken the number of test cases t, and for every test cases you run a loop, and uh, for every test cases you take input n and k. Let's input n, n, k, and uh, calculate t. Int t is equal to sorry uh, t yes t t will be k k by n minus one. And calculate R also. R will be uh, k modulo n minus one. Okay. If R equal to equal to zero, just print n n into uh, n n into t minus one. Else print then see how n into t plus r that's it that's it for today i hope you you like this video and uh, if you like our channel and our content please subscribe our channel uh, subscribe our channel and if you want you can share this video so thank you